Here we go. First new Capenna draft box. I want to see what this draft experience is like. Do we get showcase cards from here? Gilded foils? I know they normally save that stuff for the collector boxes and the set boxes, but we could get a few in here. It seems like they are adding more to draft boxes lately. Remember when they were when they were going to get rid of draft boxes? Wizards was just going to do collector and set. That will never happen. Drafts are still huge, especially for LGSs. It's one of the main ways they attract people in for a new set. Then we got our Gallagher eaters here. We're going to be nice to them now. Put them in your green deck. So let's uh, let's start drafting here. Have not drafted this on Arena yet or in real life. Definitely want to know the set a little more before I dive into one of those drafts. So I got Maestro as a Cineary, and then we got a Showcase Foil Land. I'm sorry, Full Art Land? Yeah, I think, I think that's what we're calling them now. But So good to know you can get those out of draft packs. Maestro is, okay, so another one, another Cineary Maestro. This time a Showcase one. So I guess we have answered our question. You can get Showcase cards from a draft box. And full art lands. Okay, so cut your losses. So that's a nasty one there. We've seen that a little bit. So going to add that to the mill deck. Maybe only run two copies, but see what kind of luck we have. Milling half their library, I guess. Uh, okay, yeah, milling, not exiling. I was thinking of Tasha's hideous laughter there for a second. See if we can zip to the back a little faster. We got we got 36 packs here. Okay, so we got Void Ren there. It can't be countered. Destroying a target non-land permanent. Good Esper spell right there. And then we get... Well, I think everything in here is going to be a one rare pack. Sometime, I feel like every few... Uh, I'll try and count if we get any multi-rare packs here. I feel like that first pack, though, where we got the, the uh, foil, full art land, and the Asinieri, that may have been... A two rare pack. So, all right, that's cool there. So we got first mythic, Titan of Industry. We talked about that one. That thing's really cool. Pain in the ass to deal with. Great if you play it. Seven mana, but wreaking havoc. Look at those abilities. Seven, seven, reach trample. And we get a full art land out of that. So we got Troublemaker there. Yeah, I forgot we're supposed to be skipping to the back a little more. So cut the profits, drawing X cards, losing life. Gotta love that about black. It's like you want to draw a card. You want to friggin' destroy a creature. You gotta slit your wrist, cut an eyeball out. You gotta do something crazy. Uncooperative operative. So that's our clone card there. And then, okay, so foil land. So some uh, some draft packs will have at least one foil card. I don't know if that's counted towards like a two rare pack thing or how they uh, classify that. Park Heights Pegasus. They might since they they might think since they gave you a common uh, foil in a draft pack that's like a premium pack or something. So Gaida, Gida, Gaida, Font of Hope, two two flying vigilance angel. She's uh, seen a little bit of her in Mono White Aggro. Mono White Aggro is one of those weird decks that doesn't change much. I feel like the same thing kind of with Mono Green. That's still getting played. Hostile Takeover. Yeah, you still see Mono Green Aggro getting played with a lot of uh, just Call Dime and AFR cards, so... If it ain't broke, don't fix it, I guess. So we got Luxor, Gaida's Gifts. So that's a cool mythic right there. That's turning your Planeswalker into a creature, giving it some 1-1 one -one counters. And as soon as you turn it into a creature, someone casts uh, Infernal Grasp on it and kills it. That's what's going to happen. Unleash the Inferno.
That's why I'm always we weary of cards that make things like lands into creatures, because once something's a creature, it's just a lot more susceptible to removal and all the other bullshit. So we got Falco here. Falco is a mythic. And I thought that was a foil rare back there, but still not bad. We got Falco there. Bird Demon. Obscura Ascendiary. Now we're going to start flying through this shit for you guys. So we got Getaway Car. Artifact vehicles are continuing. I feel like there was no artifact vehicles until Eska's Chariot. And then uh, definitely in Kamigawa they added tons of uh, vehicles as we know. Corpse Explosion. That's not good. Might be a good card, but... Okay, so Maestro's Diabolist, so that, okay, so like I said, we are getting showcase cards here from draft packs, so. Can you get a Gilded, I, I bet you they, they throw at least like one Gilded Foil in a draft pack every now and then. Cemetery Tampering, I feel like that's from another set, am I making that up, or? Sounds like something out of Innistra Innistrad. Obscura In Interceptor. And a lot of full art lands, especially for a draft box. So I wonder if these, uh, I know they're in high demand, but I don't know if they're fetching the same price as you saw those Kamigawa lands for. So Reservoir Kraken. Because that was my thing once I saw those Kamigawa lands were like $4 for some of them. Like, is anyone actually paying that or is that just the market value? Okay, so we got Obnixilis, this guy here, this mf -er, I, uh... Was cutting a pro on him in the last video, but he is a pain in the ass because he, he gets copied. Like, that's so cheap. So they get to copy him if they cast him. Hopefully you're casting him, and then you're just making people discard cards. They're losing life. He is a monster and a mythic. Then we got Devilish Valet. This is another one. So his uh, he's got that alliance ability. So his power and tut her just his power doubles. Uh, I think someone attacked me the other day with like an 83. Uh, the, the Devilish Valley had like 80 power. It was nuts. And the thing has trampled to make it even worse. So that thing is gonna, that, that's gonna be interesting. I see that getting a lot of play. Structural Assault. Xander's Lounge. Okay, so first triumph of our draft box here. And I don't think any one of those are worth significantly more than the other. It seems like they're all right around the same value. Like eight bucks for the standard version, and then uh, I think around up to 20. Another Devilish Valet. Then I think once you're in like the showcase or the uh, foil showcase, you're in like a $20 range. So. That is good for this set. So then we've got Dragon's Lash there. The last rung of packs. I'd say this is pretty good for a draft box because we got uh, we got a, the Titan of Industry there. We got Obnixilis. So I think that's four Mythics there. Might have even missed one. And there is another one. So we got Zytora here. Zytora the Incinerator. And that is a Mythic Showcase. So we have dispelled our uh, the myth that you can't get Showcase cards out of a draft box. So five Mythics. So I'm wondering if this, uh, this was from a full case that we bought. If this is like the really good box. Depopulate. We'll run a price though, because sometimes those uh, Planeswalkers, uh, you, you'll think they're a big deal and they're only worth a couple bucks each. But again, once you're into Showcase or the Foil and all that, worth a lot more. Evolving Door. First time we're seeing that. I thought it was from the Commander set for a second, so.
Okay, so then we got Rafin here. This was the one we got the gilded foil version of that was like 70 bucks. So there's just the standard one here. It's probably only worth a few bucks. Then you got this, uh, what is it? Convene, Convi, whatever. All kinds of new abilities. I can't, I can't even keep up with them. I'll, I'll learn it once I uh, run that card in the deck. It's like, you don't know what that card does? How do you not know? Yeah, I don't know what all 280 card, 281 cards do. Wiretapping. Not to mention the other, like, probably 3,000 cards you can play from in standard right now. Riveteers Ascendiary. So yeah, just tons of show, tons of full art lands. So we got double, okay, so two rare pack. I was supposed to, supposed to be keeping track of that, but I think this is only the first actual two rare pack. So we got Street Artist and then Wire Tapping there. So not a, not a real winner, but. All right, so three packs left. So we got a Senyari there, the Cabretti, the Cabretti crime family. I still didn't read what that freaking car, uh, that little card you get in the box. It says what the five uh, crime families do, but I see something back here. Okay, so what is, oh yeah, this is the dinosaur guy. Okay, so we got the stomper here, plant dinosaur, but this is, uh, I guess that would be an extended art version of that. So pretty cool. Feeling that 4-4 Vigilance does some other stuff. I don't feel like reading it right now because after this, I'm opening the collector box. All right, so let's get out of here. Let's see what we get. So, okay, so that's very nice. We're going to end with a triome. So only two triomes from this box. So not bad. This is probably one of the better draft boxes from that case. So uh, we'll be back and we're jumping into that collector box next.